So you didn't see the driver of the car? No. The windows were tinted. R and I ran the plates. Car belongs to Herman Shelter. Address 213 South Rome, Motel Room 219. So the perp is dead, the money's missing, and all we have is an address to go on. Is that what you're telling me? Head over to Herman's house, see what you can find. My money says he skipped town a long time ago. Hey, Winter, you look like hell. When was the last time you got some sleep? Years of hunting down crooks, friends and killers can mess with a man's head. The world is sick, there is no cure. How do I feel about my job? I'm a temporary fix. Bringing monsters from the dark isn't always easy. Problem was, most of them didn't mind the light. like this always has a few dead ends. Criminals today enjoy playing with cops like me. They're bored and they tend to risk everything for the thrill of the chase. Cat and mouse game on steroids. Sometimes it seemed I was the one being played with. Sometimes I was the mouse.
start somewhere. crossed him, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I actually have three things that might jog your memory. First off, you left these. Second, Herman Shelter. I don't know a Herman Shelter. You know him. He whistles at you every time you ride by on your bicycle. Don't worry, I know you didn't kill Herman. Because of the third thing. for the murder of Vince Fields and for the theft of $500,000. Here he is. That was some real fine work, Winter. That girl's gonna get 30 years. She just might have to start singing the blues. What about Herman? He was killer. What can I say? Lack of evidence. Sometimes the crooks are smarter than we are. At least you can get some sleep knowing the money's safe. They're running your story in tomorrow's paper. It's gonna bring a lot of good press to this department. You're right. I do need some sleep. That a boy, get some rest. Tomorrow's headline is gonna read, Detective Winter. Down by law. You want to take the money to evidence? Yeah, sure. You had Delilah wait in the elevator, didn't you? And you set her up by killing Herman, leaving the book of matches at the crime scene. You know I'd go to the jazz club and sniff her out. Might have even killed her. Even you and me to split $500,000. You know your game well. So what's next? Split the money or die. Sounds patriotic. Last time I looked, this is still America. Land of opportunity. So now you're gonna ask me if I've heard of the First Amendment? Freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom of speech, freedom to assemble. Freedom to retire and to be able to live. $250,000. 13 years is a long time, Winter. Heck, I've been here for 25 years, and let me tell you, it doesn't get any easier. Tell me about it. Let's do this like the cowboys, then.
sometimes you have to decide which side of the tracks you're walking on.